get them excited, they get extra money, they get bonuses, and that is how you incentivize and get your non-licensed staff to help build the agency's policies and premium. Hi, Therese with Agency Performance Partners coming to you to talk about cross-selling and insurance sales processes for staff that are not licensed in your agencies. So cross-selling isn't hard. They're using statements and gathering information. The information isn't any different from a typical conversation that they may be having with a client. If they like to chit chat with clients, this is their excuse to chit chat with clients. We don't want them taking 10 to 15 minutes with each client that walks in to pay. But if they're selling a product or cross selling or gathering information for a cross sell, this is their excuse to chit chat. So let them, but they have to bring you some policies if they're gonna be talking with these clients. Now, some of the clients that walk into pay are usually our non-standard, the ones that don't have money, that don't have more than one policy. This is the goal, get more than one policy. What these staff members know about these clients will surprise you. Have you ever asked Mary about a client and she tells you their whole life story? And that's when the light bulb goes on and you're like, right? How do you know all this information and we don't have all of these policies? Well, it's probably because they aren't asking or are not passing the information on to a producer to quote it. What can they do? They can cross sell. They can upsell how you ask. They can talk about their own policies and the coverage they have. They know their policies. If you talk to your receptionist that works in the insurance agency, she knows everything about her policies, the details, the ins, the outs, the deductibles. She can talk about her own policy. That's how she cross sells. That's how she upsells. She can get people on EFT and pay in full. She can get referrals. Oh, Sally, your granddaughter graduated. Does she need a renter's insurance policy for her college dorm? She can get reviews for you. Oh, would you mind reviewing us on Google? I can send you the link. She can share stories that will cause other clients to think about their insurance a different way and help get more policies. Now, how do we track it? You have your staff member keep a tracking sheet just like you would any agent that is selling. They keep a tracking sheet, they write down the client's name, they write down the policy that they sent to the producer. And then you say, oh, well, why are they gonna do it? Because you're gonna add an incentive. So you don't have to give them a payment or money or anything for all of the referrals they give. But if the producer sells a policy to the client or the referral that that staff member gave, then they get a percentage. So pay them every time a producer sells a policy that they had something to do with and giving them a percentage will get them excited, they get extra money, they get bonuses, and that is how you incentivize and get your non-licensed staff to help build the agency's policies and premium. Thanks so much for watching, agencyperformancepartners.com. Check us out, have a great day.